This tutorial will show you kind of a motion tracking technique in Adobe Premiere Pro 2021. As soon as you shot the footage, which is in best case with a moving object in it, you can import the clip in your timeline. First, go to the button monitor and drag in following buttons, rulers and guides down to the quick access area. Then make a right click on the program monitor and activate the save margins. As soon as you click on them, they appear in the program monitor as kind of an overlay. They help you to figure out where the middle of the frame is. That's helpful because we want to keep the object centered and it's also helpful for all stuff like putting text and titles centered. Because if those things are not... Oh, those things... Those things are not centered, it looks ultra unprofessional. unprofessional. Even on some big videos I can see that. I don't want to say names, but <clears throat> Sam Kolder. I mean, yes, your course about how to make your seamless transitions is pretty nice for 800 bucks, but probably you should make a course about how to put text centered. No, just joking. I also did it many times back in the day when I was young and unknowing. But I'm not doing it now and my videos don't have million views so even if I would not put the text centered I mean nobody would care but if I would have a million views I would probably would ask myself why I'm not able to put text centered. After that click on the vertical line of the rulers and drag the straight line right in the middle of the frame. You are doing the same process with the horizontal line of the ruler. The safe margins you activated before will help you to figure out where the middle of the frame is. If you either live on the planet earth or you breathe oxygen, please press like now. The next step is to go to the point of the clip where you want to start the motion tracking. Then go to the effect controls and click the position and scale keyframe. I would scale in a little bit so you have a little bit of room on the edges to move the clip later on. If you don't scale in enough, you might see those black bars on the edge. Now a lot of keyframing starts. Keyframing basically means that you tell the program frame by frame how the settings of the position and scale should be at a specific point in time. If you have clicked on the stopwatch, like I explained in the step before, you don't have to do anything than moving the frame in a way that the ball is always in the center of the cross and those little diamonds appear automatically. You can move the frame by clicking on motion, then just go with the mouse to the program monitor, left click and hold the frame and move the mouse. So you have to move specially the position of the frame every time where the ball is not in the center. Do this process all the way until you're at the position where you want to stop the motion tracking. Then give it a check if everything looks nice and clean and specially check if there are no black bars to see. I mean black bars always give you kind of that cinematic vibe but in this case it's not cool. If you can see any black bars just crop in a little bit more. Consider checking out some more stuff. I would highly appreciate if you hit the like button. Yeah, and if you like those fast paced tutorials, also click on the subscribe button. More to come in the future. Thanks a lot and I gonna see you in the next video.